Alright, so if you came here for some black fishing, that's exactly what you're about to get. It's opening day here in Connecticut. I've been waiting for this all summer, and we're just headed out to the rock pile that we're going to fish, and I'll talk about some tips and tricks and some different things that we're doing to catch these tog. Um, so thank you so much for joining, and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so we just anchored up on our rock pile, uh, which is really important for catching blackfish because these fish love structure. So if you've got pilings or a boulder field, anything like that, even just a single large rock under the surface of the water, uh, that's where you're going to have your best chance of catching these fish. Um, and we're using Asian shore crabs for this trip, which I have locally available. I just flip rocks for them and they work just fine for bait. I know a lot of other people like to use green crabs or whatever other type of crab, but these work fine. So that's what we're doing. And uh, these jigs are, they're made by wet side tackle um, and they come in a variety of sizes and colors. These ones are glow. Uh, and I like them so much because the hooks are super sharp and really thick, which is important for any jig. And they just catch fish. So it's, this is the jig that I'm using exclusively throughout this video. And I'm making the first cast of the day here and I'm just lobbing the jig in so I can get it as close as I can to the edge of the rock pile. Yep. There we go. First dog. Might be. That's what is it? Fifteen? Let's see. Yeah, and here in Connecticut, the tog limit is 16 inches, and you can keep three per day per person. This fish was just at 16 oh, yeah. inches, so it was the first one in the live well. Is he? Yep. Yeah. Now, black fishing is a little bit different than a lot of other types of bottom fishing in that you're gonna get a lot of taps and you need to know when to set the hook on these fish. So how do you do that? You are gonna feel, you're gonna feel porgy, you're gonna feel smaller black fish, there could be brigals down there, all types of fish just like nibbling at your crab. You wanna wait until you really feel a tug that kind of stands out from the rest of them. And you know, sometimes you'll actually feel the jig move. So if you back up to that last fish and watch the tip of my rod, you'll see little taps, little taps, little taps. And right before I set the hook, you're gonna see one slight tug that was a little bit bigger than the rest of them. Out in the first 10 minutes. You're gonna though. Hey, and I should mention I'm out here with uh, my buddy Glenn, who is always gracious enough to keep me on the water. Um, we've got his dad with us, and uh, also my buddy Josh, who absolutely hates porgy. <laughs> <laughs> favorite, my favorite fish. Mmm. <laughs> Some shoulders on that one. Ooh, yeah. Nice big one. Hmm. Huh? That's gotta be 18. Yeah. Nice fish. Oh, nice one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right underneath in the fight right underneath. Up front? That's, you, that's called dead stick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh nice. So Glenn was doing something and had the rod in the holder and um, cool. got a fish on. Uh, I don't recommend trying to hook up with Tog this way, but as you can see, it can happen. There it is. Nice. There we go. There it is. And guess what it is? Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I feel bad for Josh. We've all put Tog in the boat at this point, and uh, so far he's got two Porgy, his uh, favorite fish. But uh, <laughs> it's going to change soon. You'll be all right. There we go. There you go. There you go. That's yeah. Yeah. There you go. 
So Josh is from Alabama originally and uh, spent a lot of his life in Florida and uh, did a lot of fishing down that way, as you can imagine. He's a very accomplished fisherman, uh, but this was actually his first blackfish. So uh, it was pretty cool to, you know, introduce him to a new species. No. <laughs> My first uh, nice fish. Oh, Porgy. 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 Yep. No. Oh, <laughs> and Josh is about to hook up with his next tog, but he's also about to make a pretty nice mess as well. Yeah, boy. Now you're warm mm. up. That ain't no porgy. No. Mm -mm. That ain't no porgy. Ow, bastard. That was a good one. Nice. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Shit. That's a bad. Yeah, so out of all of the things that could happen to you on the water, um, you know, this wasn't that bad. So th <laughs> things could definitely be worse. A uh, little bit of a mess. We've got some crabs running all over the boat here. We'll get them picked up. No big deal. And uh, we'll get back to fishing. I want to say we had no hitters on the ground. What's that? Catch shorts, you can't do that yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little tick tick, tick tick. Mm -hmm. right. Most of them are porgy, that's not, I don't think. Oh, yeah. Short. Yeah, this guy's got <laughs> Nice one. Yeah. Dude, it's like a family of chunk. So here's a pretty good look at how I put these crabs on the hook. Um, honestly, I just go through the bottom and out the top. It's pretty easy, and uh, I'll stack a couple on there. Uh, if you are using bigger crabs, like green crabs, um, you know you should probably cut them in half if they're larger. And uh, because they're so hard, you might want to go on a leg socket and then out the opening where you cut or out another leg socket, however. But yeah, for these Asians, they're really easy. I just stack a couple on there just so that I've still got the hook exposed, and uh, it works pretty well. I use 30. Yeah, yeah, they're getting smaller. Yeah, we'd been here about 30 minutes at this point, and the average size of each fish started to decrease. Uh, and you'll see that that happens when you stay in a spot for a certain amount of time. Um, you know, there's just only so many keepers down there and um, you know when you when you start getting lots of shorts like this It's a uh, you know good indicator that maybe it's time to move spots. So uh, we're gonna go check out another one. Oh Little, little tap There he is, big fish. Big fish. That's a fish? Oh, big fish. Big fish. Oh, it's a monster. Yep. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Holy shit. Yeah, so it was really nice to see a fish over 18 inches, which was mostly what we were finding at the first spot. Uh, this one was 21, so it was a really nice ending to the trip. This is all the all the fishing we had time for, so we uh, had to head in after this, but it was uh, all in all a really great opener to blackfish season, and if you guys want to see more blackfishing videos, definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel because I've got lots of them coming, and the, uh, the blackfish bite here in Long Island Sound is insane right now so plenty of new content coming at you and uh, if you made it to the end thank you so much for watching